Okay, then let's try uh, to improve the uh, predictive accuracy further. Okay, and then uh, let me run this code again. Okay. Oh god, this is so slow. So then here again, uh, okay, here is a typo. This must be lower, okay. I'm going to change in a minute. Okay, uh, anyway, so this red line is the realizations, and then this, the black line is the posterior median or posterior mean, actually the almost symmetric. So that we can say that this is just posterior mean of the, uh, mean, of, mean, of the one, mean of the one month ahead house price house price growth rate okay and then these blue lines are 90 percent credibility intervals or confidence intervals right and then this may look good or fine but you may not be happy enough okay and then i'm going to show you how to improve this okay again here okay let me go back to the figure yeah, this is a lower bound. That's why it must be lower, not low. Okay. Okay. And then uh, let me show you the dependent variable. Here is the dependent variable. Okay. So this is the ear-to-ear -ear house price growth, okay? And then you can see that this data look, looks quite persistent, right? It means what? It means what? If this, support, uh, and you can see this is over mean, over average of the house price growth, right? Okay? Usually it's, on average, it looks like about 5%. And then once it's higher than 5%, and then it's quite persist, okay, well, over 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 the over the five percent. And once it becomes lower than five percent, and still it stays stays under five percent quite long time, right? So it means what? It means what? So then current value is quite, and the, it means what? This this current value is quite uh, much information about the future value, so, right? This is not white noise. Right, so that means the uh, current 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 house price growth is must be must be some predictive information or the information about the information about the future house price growth. Right, that means the uh, again this is dependent variable, right? Dependent variable, and currently we have we have the uh, we have the we have the, the other the other variables as the independent variables, right? And then. But because because this because this dependent variable is quite persistent, then past variable and past value of the dependent variable must have some must have some prediction ability of the of the of, of the current or future house price growth rate, right? So then how to do this? Again here, currently we have x four is consists of the interceptor, I mean the ones, and the other variables. Right. Again, here this again this dependent variable start from uh, start at two and it ends at n. And independent variable start start at one and it ends at n minus one. 
because this because this is prediction model, right? Prediction model. At at time t minus one, you have data up to time t minus one and forecast forecast the dependent variable at time t, right? So that's why we have that's why we use lagged variable, right? So then so you, it means what you shouldn't you shouldn't use data like this to to end right this is wrong right this is wrong right okay right and again so we have we have the uh, we have the uh, we have the, the other variables the other variables except the dependent variables uh, as the independent variables right so then I would like to consider the past or lagged value of the independent or lagged value of dependent variable. So then how can we do this? It's very simple. You can start from one, not two, end. Okay? So it means what we use we use lagged variable, lagged value of all the all data, right? Including dependent and independent variables, right? So this is yt, and it it has yt minus one and the other the other the other independent variables in the, uh, the other independent variables at time t minus one, right? So this is yt, and first column is what yt minus one, right? And then now let me run this again because there is nothing to change. Okay, here please make sure uh, please remember this value minus forty two. And you can remember the the figure, right? Okay, let me run this again. How about this? Are you happy now? You must be happier than before, right? So now this red line is much closer to the black line, right? And then the log PPL is much higher than before, okay? Right? Okay, so then also the, uh, please take a look at this confidence band. Is there anything changed in the current band? Okay, this, how much is it? Is it oh, this is about seven, this is about three, and the credit credit interval size is about four, right? It's almost four. It's almost four. How was it previously? Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. In the meantime, the uh, I will explain something else. Okay, so then Okay, so then please make sure that you have you have the uh, push make sure to include the lagged value of dependent variable as as an independent variable. Okay, once once your dependent variable is quite persistent. Okay, and then also you are going to try different different values of the prior or or, or I'm sorry the hyperparameters, right? Hyperparameters, and then and then you are going to choose choose the a particular the hyperparameters producing the highest log PPL. Okay, this is called also the optimization. Okay, or the or or the uh, optimization through tuning. Okay, again here. Now how how much is it? Okay, this is about one, about eight. So then, confidence interval size about seven, right? Much, much larger than before, right? Much larger than before, 
right? Okay, so this is that's why that's why this forecast that's that's why this this forecast is much poor, much much uh, much uh, much more poor than before, right? So this is not accurate. Uh, this is not accurate forecast error. Okay. 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 So then it should be one. Be one. Right. Okay. So again, so then you are going to try with with a number of a number of different hyperparameters, hyperparameters for alpha zero zero, delta zero zero, alpha zero one, alpha delta zero one. Of course, of course, you will choose you will choose the uh, choose the set of the hyperparameters by yourself, and then and then you are going to you are going to search the best one, producing the highest or the largest log PPA. And then once you find the best hyperparameters through 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 tuning process, then you are going to you are going to make uh, you are going to make a, uh, make a forecast, right? Just just real forecast, right? Not out of sample forecasting. Okay, All right. 